What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you the top 5 vehicles to buy in GTA Online. And if you have any video suggestions, just leave them down in the comments. But anyways, let's get to the video. At the number 5 spot, we got the Terabyte. The Terabyte's a big truck that can move any car out the way. But that's not the main purpose of the Terabyte. If you go to the screen inside of the Terabyte, you'll see all these different options. So basically, you can start up missions to refill your other businesses from your Terabyte. And what's unique about it is you have these client jobs that you can only complete if you have the Terabyte. At the number 4 spot, we got the Armored Karuma. So I got the most powerful LMG in the game to test how durable the windows are. Now, obviously, if you're moving, it's going to be way harder to shoot you. So yeah, I would definitely recommend buying this. At the number 4 spot is going to be the Obey Omnis EGT. If you're on current gen, this is the best Amani Tech vehicle you can buy. The reason I got this at number 3 is because how fast it is and how much handling it has. Single handedly, the best thing about this car is how many homing missiles it can take. At the honorable mention spot, I got the Akula. The Akula can be used by PvP players or grinders. If you get good with the Akula, it's very easy to defend yourself from players. At the number two spot, we got the Molotov. Although the Molotov is not very good at PvP, it's quick and agile and has unlimited humming missiles. And it's very easy to land anywhere you want to with the Molotov. The engine is completely cut off and it's still very easy to land with this. I mean, heck, you can even land upside down. At the number five spot, we got the Asset Lab. And yes, the Asset Lab is a vehicle. Just look at the way it tanks through these cars. It's got bulletproof windows. Technically, the Asset Lab is a vehicle. You can make $400,000 solo just with the Asset Lab. So it's no wonder why I put this at number one. And yeah, that'll be the end of the video. If you stayed this long, comment down below cheese and confuse everybody else. And also, if two people comment down below PvP, I'll make a video covering top five PvP vehicles in GTA. But anyways, I'll see you on the next one. If you stayed this long, I love you.